So I've got like five or six poems. It's like five or six. Five, six, six, six. We're doing six. Okay. Uh, I don't know what any of them are about. Um, <clears throat> they also don't have titles. Uh, the aging dog's bleached face, eyes, nose, mouth, silhouettes in white fur, search the empty, blurred house for comfort from the edge of my bed. He circled three times after each turn forgetting his purpose. He was blind, deaf. I imagined a canine senility, something like an old woman at Christmas repeating each grandchild's name like Linnaean flower taxonomy, ignoring the frightened girls forced into her wheelchair lap for a final family portrait. From a distant room, I heard my mother at my father's feet. She asked of numbness, darkening, hardening skin, the death of flesh. The dog sat down. So, yeah. uh, as far as theme goes, they're like a little sad. Um, they're mostly about me uh, and my family. Um, I don't know, they're not scary. They're scary if like existentially maybe. <clears throat> a doe by the highway fur blood red from the rain, fingernails like wane moons, broken sunflower seeds, her neck still warm and smelling like sleep. I cut my bare feet on secrets hidden in the floorboards. The last thing I said before goodbye was goodnight. The cat howls for food to no response. He settled for sanctuary between her thighs. I stared at the ceiling, jealous, placed a hand on her flat stomach and felt her body go on without me. Okay, let's get weird. Image of black fading into gray, laptop battery inside chest cavity, Teeth against shattered thighs of porcelain doll, a, a cut tongue, blood as money, conflict, personal, wild animals attacking campers as they close their eyes to pray. <laughs> Battery overheating. Image of streaming images, crying during a bad movie, soap scum in bathroom sink, hand towel wrung dry, pair of lungs full of words pushed out of the mouth with each breath. Lungs turned inside out with words stuck in abuli. Words that cannot be smoke, spoken. Red, wet cloth growing mold. Image of stepping out of car, drunk after long drive. Pale scalp under thinning hair. Asymmetrical mole. Dark flesh mounds, dark liquid pouring over. Saliva of strings, rice a crawling grain. Hunger as the greatest disease. Desire as a black hole. Image of infinite mistakes, the wrong sound, porous flesh, animal cells, childbirth. Image of rolling eyes, unshan andalu, reconciliation, lilacs wilting, walls, empty museum, people in black turning gray with movement, ashes in the wind blowing, fire burning nothing. Image of your first memory, paper cut, the scar on your knee from your bike pedal, escaping gas the crayon wallpaper in your childhood bedroom, a honking horn, you pulling a hermit crab from its shell, an idea, your ceiling getting closer, your ceiling getting closer. <laughs> okay, so this is about a monster, so it's kind of scary. Uh, I thought about the giant monster underground that God weaved into the earth, that God immediately regretted weaving into the earth. I thought about the loom of God weaving a very ugly sweater that isn't even warm, that no one could afford. I thought about a lattice of worms, all asexually reproducing, who grew back heads or tails, who they themselves didn't even know which end was up. 
I felt happy and sad in equal measures for all of this, and then equally the same for how simple that felt. I felt that each emotion was so simple that I wanted to only fill them in tandem for a very long time. It felt like emoting was an action. I wanted to actively emote each black and white emotion until urges like hunger or tiredness no longer felt like passive, uncontrollable emotional weight. <laughs> 